Well, one of the largest mountain film festivals is heading to Northwest Arkansas, and we've got Kenya here to share more. Thank you for Thanks being for here. Us. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Can you just talk about what folks might expect from this uh, festival? Sure. So the Banff Center, at, located in Canada, does a mountain festival of films. They tour around the world. There's about 600 different locations in 40 countries, and we got it in Rogers. And so what people can expect on Saturday is um, a couple of hours before the actual screening starts, we're going to have an outdoor culture showcase. Cool. There'll be lots of area businesses and organizations that really just highlight some of the activities and nature that, that happen here in Northwest Arkansas. The screening happens, starts at about 6 o'clock, and it's a three-hour block, and it will feature films from all over the world. There will mm -hmm. be... it's. It's amazing. I'm so excited because I've screened all of these films okay. for, for uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I just feel like this is a great representation of countries from France to Canada to Africa to even here in the United States. You know, when I think of Banff, obviously I think of outdoors, I think of the mountains. Right. Are these films showcasing outdoors in different countries? Ab absolutely. Okay. Ooh. So e even right there in Canada and Banff on the yeah. mountains. So all over the country, mountaineering, mountain biking, uh, fishing. Uh, there's a cave expedition. Ooh. I don't want to give too much away uh, about that. It's, it'll have you on the edge of your seat. And then there's just some great filmmaking. So that's another thing that's really highlighted here, that these are um, people who are really into that art form, and it's a, such a great treat to have it. Yeah, so what, what was kind of that decision factor in bringing it to Northwest Arkansas? Well, I, as the arts and culture manager for the city, it was really important for me to see lots of different cultures represented, lots of different, um, mu lots of different music, and then outdoor activities, from Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, to now we've got this. So I think Rogers is unique because we have all these great trails like around Lake Atlanta, and there's a big cycling push here. Yes, we all sure. know about that. <laughs> um, and so this just feeds right into it. Yeah, and you're coming off that huge weekend you just had yes. with um, the, the Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. You always have stuff happening at the rail yard. Right. Where is this event going down? So it was originally tapped to be at the Victory Theater, but right. it was damaged in the tornado. Mm. So now it'll be out, held out at Mount Hebron Park. There's a building there that's been known as the Assembly Hall, but we've rebranded it to Prairie View Center okay. because it just, there's natural prairie there, which also just feeds right into the whole idea of having a film festival there that has to do with being outside. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Do we need tickets to this one? How do we get those? Yes. You go to the victorytheater.com and the tickets are a one day pass is $15. You, get it, you come back for both days, it's $25. Okay. Oh, wow. Is there anything upcoming, City of Rogers, that we kind of need to keep our ear to the ground, need to yeah. know about? Yes, absolutely. Um, in November, November 12th, Silk Road with Rhiannon Giddens will be at the Rogers Convention Center. Oh man, Ooh. that's a big one. Yes, super excited to have that group here. Yeah. So I know you don't want to give too much away, but you've said you've screened all these films. Is there something that you are particularly particularly excited for audiences to see? Yes, there is a film about a family who takes their children up the side of a mountain. Oh. oh. I'm, yes. I'm on the edge of my seat, like literally. I, I can't, I was like, I could never, but it was, it was a really entertaining and such a like amazing story about this family that does that, so. And you mentioned caves earlier too. I think there's always something gripping about caves. Because yeah. what, you go underground, mm -hmm. so many things could happen. There's, what's in there. What's in there, yes. so many variables. <laughs> yes, oh absolutely. So, the, and I'll also add that these films range in timing, like some of them are as short as five minutes. And others are as long as 40 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. So okay. it's just something that it's, it's active, it keeps you going, and it just, I'm excited for it. Now, is it the same block of films that are screening on both no. days? Different, different films. Different okay. films. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good okay, to know. Cool. Awesome. This is why you have to get a, a two day pass. That's why you need to go both go. days. Yes. yes. Awesome. Thank you for joining yes. us. Thank, Thank you for you having so me. Much. Of Absolutely.